Hello, preschool families. I just hope you're doing well. I just want to say how much I miss not seeing you in person. Being that this is Thanksgiving week, I thought it would be really fun if you could come up with three wonderful ideas on what you're most thankful for this week and share it with one of your parents or whoever. Um, it's a special time of year and we do have many things to be thankful for. The book I chose today is <clears throat> kind of a silly book. It's called Twas the Night Before Thanksgiving, and it's by Dav Pilkey. It's kind of silly, but I hope you enjoy it. <clears throat> Twas the day before Thanksgiving, and all through the trees, the fall leaves were spinning aloft in the breeze. Eight children had boarded their school bus with grins in hopes that a field trip soon would begin. They sang as they rode through autumn terrains while visions of drumsticks danced in their brains. O'er rivers through woods with winding and weaves, their school bus sailed on through the new fallen leaves. When out on the road there rose such a clatter, they threw down their windows to see what was the matter. When what, with their wondering eyes, should they see but a miniature farm and eight tiny turkeys and a little old man so lively and rugged they knew in a moment it was Farmer Mac Nugget. He was dressed all in denim from his head to his toe with a pinch of polyester and a dash of Velcro. And then in the twinkling, they heard in the straw the prancing and pawing of each little claw. More rapid than chickens, his cockerels they came. He whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Ollie, now Stanley, like now Larry and Mo, on Wally, on Beaver, on Shimp and Groucho. The turkeys were chunky with smiling beak faces and they greeted the children with downy embraces. So out through the barnyard they ran and they flew, and they gobbled and giggled, as friends sometimes do. Then somebody spotted an axe by the door, and she asked Grammar Nugget, what is it for? With a blink of his eye and a twist of his head, the old farmer told a grim tale of dread. Tonight, said McNugget, these feathery beasts will be chopped up and roasted for Thanksgiving feast. The children stood still, all tears filled their eyes. Then they clamored aloud in a chorus of cries. Oh dear, cried McNugget, now what shall I do? So he dashed to the well and the teacher went too. And they fetched some water fresh from the ground in hopes that a swig might calm everyone down. And when they return to quiet the matter, the children were calmer and mysteriously fatter. The boys and the girls drank up their drinks in the hay, then thanked old McNugget and they waddled away. They limped to the school bus, all huffing and puffing. It's not easy to walk with hot turkey stuffing and then as the school bus drove off in the night, McNugget looked around, not a turkey in sight. Twas the night before Thanksgiving and the stars up above shone down on the school bus, abounding with love. The very next evening, eight families were blessed with eight fluffy turkey Thanksgiving turkeys as guests. They feasted on veggies with jelly and toast, and everyone was thankful the turkeys were most. So each one gave thanks for love and for living, and they all had a wonderful, happy Thanksgiving. The end. So boys, girls, families, I just hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving feast with your loved ones, and we will see you next month in December. Take care. Bye-bye.